Uh, oh, it's payback time. <laughs> What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Mr. Duga, coming at y'all with another episode of Dropping Dimes with Mr. Duga. <laughs> and tonight, I'm going to preview and predict Saturday's matchup, uh, SEC Big Ten matchup, as you have the LSU Tigers hosting the UCLA Bruins. Um, before I get into this video, man, for anyone, if you want to uh, donate to the channel, uh, follow me on my social media. Um, I co-host a sports talk radio show every Sunday. Uh, if you want to check that out, all that information is down in the description box. Um, also, if you subscribe to the channel, I greatly, greatly appreciate the love and support. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Um, make sure y'all uh, hit the subscribe button for everyone. Hit the like button and share it with your folks, yo. Um, first checking, looking at our Tigers, man. Um, gutsy, gutsy win uh, Saturday against the South Carolina Gamecocks. Uh, like I said, we was on the road. College game day was there. Uh, they bought the train on the middle on the field. They had the the mascot come out the train. They was waving the white towels. We were down seventeen nothing. You name it, man. We had to go through it over there. And uh, we stood strong, and um, we pulled it out. You know, uh, obviously this team is not perfect. <laughs> this team clearly got a lot of stuff that it needs to fix, that it needs to work on, on both sides of the ball. Uh, we still, for the most part, struggling to run block, especially in short yardage. And uh, defensively, we just got problems all over the place. <laughs> and we're not stopping the run. You know, we're not stopping the pass. Like, it's just not great. But you won it on the SEC and you get a big road win on the road, yo. Um, and you got to take that, especially, like I say, with this 12-team playoff now. Um, and for UCLA, man, man, um, it's bad with them, yo. Uh, they go on the road, get a one-point win, come from behind win against Hawaii, um, or a three-point win, whatever it was. They won by three at Hawaii when they was down basically the whole game. And then they go home for the Big Ten opener, and they just get shellacked by Indiana, yo, 42-13. to 13. Um, Deshaun Foster's the head coach. Uh, I remember him very well when he was a player uh, with the Carolina Panthers, and they made that Super Bowl run, you know, with Jake DeLome and Steven Davis and them. Um, and man, you know, and, and this hurts my heart, all due respect to UCLA, but Eric B. Enemy is the offensive coordinator, man. This man go from, you know, to me being potentially an NFL, you know, head coach, and now he's an offensive coordinator of a college pro of a bad college football team man that's just really really a hard fall from grace and i hate to see that for eric b enemy man um you know i don't know what it is where it is just you know people don't like his style whatever the case may be man the man just really i feel like got a raw deal when it comes to coaching but then he has to go to the washington commanders to be the offensive coordinator over there to try to show people that, look, I, I it ain't all Andy Reid. I could do some stuff. But unfortunately, he went to a team that had literally no offensive personnel like that. You know, Sam Howard was the quarterback, man. And now he at UCLA, yo. Um, but yeah, first year in the Big Ten, man, it's not, not looking like a promising season for them, yo. Um... You know, and for me, for LSU, keys to this matchup is LSU going to have to do better against the run, yo. Offensively, run the ball. Defensively, do better against the run. This is the week to try to get that situated, man. Look, this ain't no FCS opponent. or any, This ain't no nickel state or nothing like that. But UCLA is not a great team. And you at home. I know it's not a night game. It's an afternoon game. But still, you at home. This is the chance to right a lot of wrongs, you know, get K. Durham going. And defensively, man, get, you know, stop the run, man. Stop the run, get after the quarterback, and uh, and get and get this dub, yo. As far as my prediction, man, LSU going to win this game. And LSU do owe them from going to UCLA a couple of a few years ago and taking one on the chin, you know. They don't have Zach Charbonnet over there no more. So, um, 
you know, OD, uh, ODTR. But uh, LSU wins this game, man. UCLA is just kind of in a really, really bad spot right now with their program. And uh, I think LSU win this game quite handily at home. Uh, but with that being said, that's all I got for y'all today. Appreciate y'all checking out the video. Hit the like button for your boy. Give me a subscribe. I have LSU, NCAA, and content on my other teams throughout the year. Y'all have a blessed one. Go Tigers.